provide either to influence the healers, the light workers that are out there. Our messages are for them. As the turmoil gets turned up, our messages will come to help those light workers that need to heal, that are trying to work, that may have fear seep in. Those messages will be for them to keep their footing and their strength and their guidance. And can you tell us something about this turmoil ahead? What is this turmoil going to come from? As we spoke earlier, it is coming from the dark forces behind the COVID. The COVID is the cover-up for the manipulation to try to put their plan in place to be the first world order, to have only their company survive, to make the humans dependent on only those businesses and entities that they have their hands in to make them totally dependent. So that so in is it individuals cool? won't feel yeah, sorry to you carry on. Yeah. Won't feel free to have their own businesses and their own communities and supporting each other. But this lockdown will have the reverse effect on people. They will begin to take care of each other, to help each other, to get smaller communities and work within their communities to work to help each other. There will be a lot of anger unleashed, a lot of rebellion going on. stronger hold on the humanity. Turmoil and violence. And many will react in varying ways. Not everybody will be angry and tumultuous. Many will be fearful. Many will see behind it. Huge opportunity for light workers to help when people are looking for something else. They're looking for a different way, another way. Light workers can come and assist as people will be more willing to hear and open up to a different way because what they thought was real is no longer real and they're seeing through it and now they're questioning and it's in the questioning that the light workers have the opportunity to go in in the questioning of what is truth the humans will be questioning why, why all of this and they will be more open to hear the other side of what light workers know is truth, of the manipulation. It is still the battle of the good versus evil. And the evil will rear its ugly head, the dark, as we call it. And this is just, not just turmoil on the world, on the earth. It is a galactic battle going on. And that is why we've come in to help with the ships all around us, with all the other, many other galaxies coming in 
with the help of the Arcturians, Palladians, Lemurians, they've all come in to shine the light, to change the crystalline grid, to clear it of the densities, and turning up the heat on the darkness is causing the darkness to escalate. So the light needs to spread. The darkness is taking their power. They're not as effective and they're turning up the heat. But again, like in all the channelings we hear, the light's getting shown on the darkness. They're becoming revealed. They're strongly trying to come in with their last plan. And it will not prevail. It will look like it's prevailing for a while. It will look like the lockdown, the shutdown, the closing of the economies, the breaking of the economy. But that is because the systems need to change. The systems are broken. The systems were built on greed, self-absorption, self-indulgence, dark energies, bad motives. That's what all the systems are built on. The governmental systems, the medical, the hospital systems, the, it's no longer about caring for the patients as much as it is how much money can they pull from the system. It's all about the money. How much money can they get from each of the systems? The systems are not taking care of the people anymore. They just are trying to extrapolate as much money as possible from all systems that they are involved in. Closing retail so that their Amazons and their mail orders can get bigger because that's where their money is in the technology. in the hospitals, keeping people sick, in the food systems, keeping organics down, keeping healthy food down, feeding the chemicals so that people can stay sick, feeding the vaccines so people stay sick, trying to keep the population sick so that it keeps them down, so their frequencies aren't raised. So they stay dependent in the system, and the system is the milking of the money. And if they keep them in the hospital system, then they keep getting money, and the people stay down, and the frequencies stay down, and they stay dependent. And the food, by breaking them economically, they'll be forced to eat bad food, cheaper food, food they can afford. But with the new energies coming in, humans won't have to eat as much food. If they eat healthy food, they eat the, if they drink the water, the fresh water, of the organic food, even just the fruits and vegetables, they will not need to eat as much. So she's not so thank you so much for that. So that brings me Wait, to continue. Peru. Wait, I'm you sorry, you carry on. So it's up to so the, the, it's up to the humans yes. to really be very careful what they are putting in their mouths, what food they are feeding their bodies what information they are putting into their minds to step away from the fear, to step away from the TV, from the broadcast, from trying to figure out the conspiracy theories, move about their days in a loving environment, keeping people in mind, taking care of your bodies, knowing that even economically, 
if your money is going to start dwindling, you're going to be okay. You're going to survive. Reach out and help those that you can. Know that the communities are going to shift. The systems are going to shift. The chaos keeps the frequency down. The division keeps the frequency down. So during this time, it's very important for light workers to stay grounded, to stay connected, to do their meditation, to stay within their hearts, to know that they're going to be okay, to reach out with words of kindness, to encourage those around you, to uplift them, to dissipate the fear, to help them know that they're going to be okay. And little by little, light workers will be able to help those raise those frequencies. Right now, the people that you will be helping will be those that are on the border, that are curious, that are raised frequencies, that are in the midst of changing their belief process, that are seeing the world differently and that will be open to new ideas. It is not going to be for you to go reach the very, very low density, very, very uh, people that are asleep, that are in the system, that are robotic. You won't be able to reach those people at this time. It's for you to reach those seekers. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands looking for a different way, a new way. That's who light workers will go for. And the others, you just let go by the wayside and let them do what they do. And ask for opportunity for people to be brought to you so that you can help those people and guide those people. They will come to you as a light worker. You ask, bring them to me. Bring the opportunity, bring them to me, and let me help them.